Hello everyone, welcome to this new edition of Juniper Webinars. I'm Álvaro Romero, member of the sales consultants team with Milan Hinojosa, Cristina Vizquerra and Javier Navarro. And today I'm here to talk about the Juniper Excellent for Hotels. Please note that the control panel on the right, it will be available through the whole presentation for you to ask questions to which I will respond at intervals specifically a lot for this purpose. Should your questions be left unanswered, you can rest assured that you will receive a response by email. Um, also, for those of you not following this webinar in real time, at the end of the presentation, you will find our contact details and we will be glad to help you with any questions you may have. So we'll start by the agenda. Um, the introduction, what is Juniper Extended for Hotels? How does it work? How does this model add value to your business? Uh, we'll make a, a very, very short demo explaining how it works, um, as is, because it's very similar as directly contracted accommodation, the, the winner we did uh, before this. So this will be really, really, really short. And we'll make a closure. Introduction. Uh, well, we'll start by showing a diagram to contextualize this model and giving you an overview of all the models we have in Juniper. Starting from the left, you can see product categorized by colors according to their type and separated under external suppliers and on contracts. This product is processed at the center of our diagram by booking engine models that enable product functioning and management. Next on the right, uh, there are the different distribution channels through which product will be made accessible to customers. Um, models uh, for which webinars have been previously offered are highlighted in orange, which means that there is information and videos available on the YouTube channel. As you can see, the last webinar we did was about the directly contracted accommodation model, which is uh, necessary in order to contract the extranet uh, for hotels. And extranet for hotels, the model that we will be explaining today is precisely among the models that work with the directly contracted accommodation model, which is uh, part of the hosted contracts. What is Juniper extranet for hotels? With the extranet for hotels model, you will allow your accommodation supplier to upload and manage the directly contracted product by giving them a user account through which they can access uh, to this tool. The model has also an interface to update accommodation data automatically through channel managers. How does it work? With Juniper Extranet for Hotels, you will first connect to channel managers where the supplier may manage uh, and review directly the different parameters, cost prices, allotments, stock sales, etc., without having to leave their regular platform. Two, provide access, uh, provide the supplier access credentials depending on the different permission levels the users. These users will be able to manage and edit the information of one or various properties. And they can make price, allotment, room, meal plans, and our accommodation profile modifications, and also review the bookings generated by their accommodation. And three, uh, customize the tool with your logo and corporate colors so that the accommodation supplier may identify your brand. In this way, the accommodation supplier will independently manage the different contract settings while assisting you in the product upload and management. Note, you should previously upload the contract with the accommodation supplier in the booking engine through the Juniper directly contracted accommodation model. So you cannot use the Juniper extranet for hotels if you don't have previously contracted and, and upload the contract with the accommodation with the model of Juniper Directly Contracted Accommodation. If you want more information, you can find uh, a webinar uh, in our YouTube channel. 
how does this module add value to your business? Very simple. Thanks to the Uniber XML for Hotels, you will view all the directly contracted product upload through a single screen. Thanks to the interaction of both models, the Uniper Daily Contracted Accommodation and Uniper Extranet for Hotels. Then also you can offer to the accommodation supplier access to the Extranet to configure the different supplier contracts, parameters, as well as manage receive bookings. Contract accommodation with different, man uh, with different channel managers and also save time in management procedures thanks to the connection with the channel managers and or with the accommodation supplier so that you may invest time and effort in your business and not in the product management which makes this model super interesting for you now as i explain how the juniper external for hotels works i will make a very very short demo about how can you use it in your daily work. So first we'll go to our intranet. I will go with my user. Waiting. Sometimes uh, Now, yeah, I'm sorry for my internet. Now, so first of all, um, as I already explained, you should have upload this property, this contract. So in my case, I, I already have this property uploaded in the system. So I will, I will search for Hotel Alcudia. So as I explained before, you should have all this information here uh, uploaded. So then uh, how the Juniper Excellence for Hotel works. In the supplier contracts, we have the possibility to create excellent contracts. Uh, so here, as you can see, we have the Extranet Alcudia free rates contract and the uh, the extranet Alcudia non-free rates contracts. So which is the difference between these two contracts? Well, the first contract is free rates. So that means that we can change um, we can change the parameters uh, with so the difference is that when we are in the accommodation in the in the rates section um, as is free rates that means that we don't have a base rate what I mean when we are in a non free rate contract uh, what we have we have a, a base free rate which is the name of the base rate a code uh, an identify code and a color and here we can we can decide the prices per person depending on the room type and in the all inclusive full board half board depending on 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 the section so in that case in when it's a, a extra net alcudia non free rate we can change all of this information here and then when we we go to the main section you will see that I, I search for July, and as you can see, we have an active rate for this type of room, which is the base rate we have configured before. So here, in order to change it, we just need to select which rate we want to apply for this uh, for for these uh, dates and um, for these rooms. So if we want to, for example, create a new different rate, in that, quick, in that case, we have the base rate and also we have a promo rate. So a promo rate, for example, is a discount over the base rate. 
and as you can see have another code which is different and a different color in order to 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 be more easier in order to see uh, which rate are we applying for this room and these dates so in case the when we are working with a an extra net equity of free rates the main difference you will see is that in this section as we don't have a base free rate in a extra net free rate uh, what we can do is just make a quick rate of load so from here we can select all the other prices per person and room and uh, and, and characteristics so um, we don't we don't have a base rate that's the, the main difference in in when we are working with a, a an extra net non-free rate we work with a base rate which just can be configured and apply in group and then we have uh, and we, we cannot configure it right here and then in the free rate, sorry, in the if I search again, in the free rate, I can just decide as I, as I don't have a base rate to apply, I can just change it depending on the dates. Uh, so and also I need to say that the free rate is also it works when you are working with a channel manager is a must that you have a contract active as free rates how should i create a new contract so when we are here um we just need to click new extra contract and um is the same configuration as a normal um supplier contracts so here we have the name in that case in order to to identify that this is an extranet contract, we need to say that this is extranet Alcudia, and also it's important to to mention is is a free rate contract or not. Um, the contract type, the season, and all the configuration and access conditions as it was a normal supplier contract. As I said before, if you want to know more information about how to how, how works the contract the directly contracted accommodation module which is all of this all of the room how you can upload new contracts uh, new new properties you should look at our last webinar but as you can see this is the the same configuration as a normal supplier contract um, here is very these two things are very important because we need to select if this contract is active or not and also if this is a low free rate or non free rate contract in case if you are working with a channel manager it will be always uh, i think um, uh, a free rate contract and if not you can select a non free rate contract so this is the this is how works the the extra net for for hotels as i see you don't have any question but if you have it please let me know and i will try to to help you. Um, also, something is important to say is that, uh, as you can see here, we we can create new users in case, for example, we are going to give permission to the channel manager or the owner of the uh, hotel property. So in that case, we have uh, Maria, the email, and the permissions, which makes this interesting because depending on what you want to let uh, the supplier uh, change in uh, going into the extranet so here you can select which type of permission you want to apply for this this person and when he enter to the extranet he won't see all of these um, all, of, all of these screens so you can select which information is important to to see or not so this is something i need to mention uh, apart from that we can here um for example make some reports if you need 
in, in, in that case, I don't have information in the system, but also you have all of this information. I hope it's clear. If not, let me know, please. Um, so this is how the Juniper Extranet for Hotels works. We need to to separate the the so as you can see here we have the landing page uh, in which you can find more information about this this module also you have our support page in which in one of the sections you will find also more information about um, about how this works and then you can find in some days you will find again this webinar uploaded into our YouTube channel, so uh, please go and check it if you have any question. Thank you for your time. If you have any more question, please let me know. Uh, you can contact us uh, to our emails as consultants, and we will try to help you with any question you may have. Thank you so much for your time. Have a nice day.